what's up welcome back to my channel it's your girl nay today's video i want to update you on my whole second trimester of pregnancy so crazy how fast this entire pregnancy has gone you guys i feel like just yesterday i found out that i was pregnant and now we are completely done with the second trimester and on to the third the long haul and I just can't believe time is getting closer and closer to me meeting baby girl and I'm just so excited so excited you guys I just wanted to update you guys and also do a little mini baby haul as well so yeah if you haven't already hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up so I know that this is the kind of content that you guys want to see and yeah let's just go ahead and get started all right guys so I'm pretty sure the last time that I updated you all I was getting my glucose test done and those results did come back and I do not have gestational diabetes which is a really really good thing Thing. So I have two ultrasounds next week actually I go to the ultrasound tech here in town If you guys didn't know or are new here I actually am a high-risk pregnancy due to the fact that I myself have a heart condition I have a pacemaker defibrillator combo so since I have my heart condition going on They just have to keep an extra close eye on me, which is actually a really good thing So I go get ultrasounds maybe every three to four weeks kind of depending on what they say and from every single time I've had to get an ultrasound on you guys she is so difficult she's so stubborn I wonder where she gets that from it's so funny because every time they want her to move she like flips the opposite way and she just makes it very very difficult for the ultrasound text and <laughs> it's just kind of funny next day actually after I get that ultrasound done I have to go down to UCLA to get a fetal echocardiogram done I know that's completely a mouthful but what that basically means is that I have to go to UCLA to get a better picture of baby girl's heart and they're only doing that as an extra precaution because like I said I do have a heart condition it's very complex I guess you would say to me it's something that I've lived with my entire life something I can't change and something I've just honestly accepted so for me it's nothing new God is good all the time all the time if you guys are interested in learning more about my heart situation or my heart story I'll link it down below because I did post a video here on YouTube all about it I think I explained in a video earlier that I have posted that it's kind of hard because the ultrasound tech here thinks that her heart's a little thick and then when I go to UCLA the specialist doesn't really think so but is getting a better look anyways so honestly it's just kind of a lot and if I think about it I kind of get stressed and get a little sad because I don't want her to go through anything that I've been through myself all I could do is pray and that's honestly all that I want to do just accept whatever God wants I just have to know that his plan is better and bigger than mine is yeah, I know that he's going to take care of her regardless because he's honestly like held me in his arms my entire life. So ugh, I'm going to get emotional talking about God over here and how he's pulled through every single time. And I can just say that the second trimester has been really good, guys. I still have symptoms. Heartburn has been like a really, really big one. But other than that, we've been feeling good. Do you want to do an entire video dedicated on like first trimester and second trimester pregnancy symptoms so be on the lookout for that so, oh last time I'm pretty sure that I told you that I was getting like that metallic taste in my mouth and the doctor told me to stop my prenatals that I was taking so I did stop those for about a week and a half maybe two weeks and I just recently started a new set of prenatals but it's a completely different brand I think it's like the just the nature made brand that you can find at like Walmart Target Walgreens all that good stuff but I did start those and I've been feeling fine I haven't had that metallic taste in my mouth at all it lasted maybe about a week and a half two weeks and it was disgusting I hated everything that I ate with that I am so glad that that is just like in the past behind me I feel like that symptom was worse than nausea but yeah before I get on to this little baby hawk I feel like I owe you guys a bump update last time that I showed you guys I was not really showing I probably look like I just ate a medium pizza and now girl there looks like there's a baby in there <laughs> there's definitely a little babes in there but I'm so excited you guys so we are done with the 27 weeks yeah this is what she's looking like super super cute 
you guys my best friend Megan sent over a huge box of stuff for baby girl and honestly like this is so much thank you Megan I know I've told you like a million times but thank you she sent a cute little note it does say her name in it and I've honestly already posted her name on Instagram so if you're curious about what my daughter's name is you can go check it out on Instagram but I do want to do a video of the names that I love but won't be using and I'll definitely tell you her name there because I want to tell you the meaning behind her name and how we chose her names I guess I'll just start with the big stuff and then we'll work our way on to clothing she got me this big pack of bottles it's the Avent natural bottles and it comes with five bottles two little pacifiers and a bottle brush and they're pink can you guys tell it's so so cute little bath set that has all the little goodies in there as well so I thought that was super cute this is also something that we're gonna be needing it has like two little brushes a brush a comb nail clippers and then the little thing to suck boogers out a vent little nipples for the bottle as well and I believe these are three months plus so that's nice and then these I thought were so cute and I was gonna get her some of these before for and I just never did these are like little rattles kind of and teethers as well and she can like put them on her wrist or her little feet and I just think that they're so adorable she got her these little pants and I love that they have ruffles in the butt and that they're gray because gray matches with everything well not everything but gray matches with a lot and that's kind of like the whole theme that we're going with is like gray baby pink or blush and white to very like nude neutral not neutral but like in that department we're trying to stay away from hot pinks and bright purples and all that good stuff this one I think is super cute it's just like a little onesie and it has little ruffles on the arms and ruffles in the back set of onesies I believe this has five onesies so they're all different and super cute and it decides it says princess on it with a little ballerina and everything else she got us basically matches which I think is so cute and she knows that I've danced my entire life so the fact that she picked something out the little ballerina ah you know me so well the onesies as well they're the long sleeve like kimono style this one's cute it has like little hearts on it little stripes pink stripes as well this one is just like the solid baby pink next thing is little beanies and mittens and they match like that little princess style that I was showing you earlier and I just can't and these are just little sleepers it's a set of three so it has polka dots on one stars on the next one and the little ballerina I can't they're so stinking cute and I really love that she sent us things in all different sizes so it's not just newborns baby girl has a lot of stuff in newborn already I want to do like a huge haul and show you guys all of the good things that we've gotten her it's been a lot but yeah um I just wanted to show you guys what Megan got me because honestly like it touched my heart and I just can't I can't like my Megan, you are so special. Thank you. I love you. Last things that she got me were these little burp cloths. And thank you because I actually have no burp cloths. So these are the first burp cloths that I have received. And they are in the same styles with the little polka dots and the little princess as well, which I love. And of course, receiving blankets, which have the little stars, polka dots, the little princess, and then pink and white baby stripes, which I love. So thank you, Megan. I love you. I've said that 20 million times this entire video, but I can't say it enough. Thank you. <laughs> friend Vanessa actually just had a baby girl named Kensley, and she just turned three months, and she actually gave me all of her clothes that don't fit her anymore. So I actually separated some because I'm keeping some for myself, and I'm actually giving some to Carlos's sister, who we just recently found out is expecting a little girl as well, which is really amazing because there's a lot of boys in his family, so it's nice to get some girls mixed in as well. I'll show you guys some of the little things that she gave us from Kensley so thank you Kensley thank you Vanessa we love you guys too Vanessa and Megan have been my friends since high school like 
my OGs, my girls. So I love you guys so much. All right, guys. So this is some of the clothing items that Vanessa gave us. I just have it in these like little baskets here that I'm going to be using for diapers and such and who knows what else is going to go in here, but yeah. Um, I just want to show you some of the pieces. I'm not going to show you everything, but some stuff is just so darling, you guys. Like, give me a break. I can't. Little pineapples, little watermelon, cherry, little romper. Like, God is so good. God is so amazing. I can't believe he's blessing me with a little girl, like, Oh my gosh, I can't. These are so stinking cute. She gave us a lot of little pants, which thank you so much because she needed pants. Look at these little denim teal pants. I cannot, I cannot. And then a lot of cute little sleepers as well, which are just darling. And I love how they have like that little vintage feel to them right up my alley right up my alley so so stinking cute i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm so glad that i finally got to show you guys some of the things that my friends have given me and just extended to me because i think that they know how stressed that i've been that i am i don't know if i'm having a baby shower or not with this whole thing going on that I don't want to give more life to but yeah there's a lot going on in the world right now so I'm just sending you guys lots of love lots of positive vibes I'm praying for you guys always sending you guys lots and lots of love I just want to radiate the light within myself and shine it on you guys that's gonna be all for today peace and love to you always and I hope to see you in the next one see you later alligator bye